the FAA is updating arrival procedures at Omaha Epley Airfield in Omaha, Nebraska. These new procedures will allow aircraft to enter the airspace surrounding the airport more efficiently. This project is part of the FAA's nationwide strategy to modernize the entire national airspace system and meet the future demand at busy airports. Throughout the nation, the FAA has built a system to manage the safe and efficient flow of aircraft between airports. Air traffic controllers work in three-dimensional space to keep planes safely separated horizontally and vertically. In the past, aircraft have flown point to point by passing over ground-based navigational aids. Many of these ground-based aids are now old, inefficient, and costly to maintain. The FAA is replacing them with satellite-based procedures. These new procedures are designed with enhanced precision capabilities, which allow pilots and controllers to use more direct routes, resulting in improved safety, fewer delays, and lower fuel emissions impacting the environment. Satellite-based procedures have been implemented in airports across the nation, including Omaha. The retirement of two ground-based navigational aids means that Omaha will be getting two more satellite-based arrival procedures starting in early 2022. These paths will give pilots a more seamless approach into the airport. How does air traffic control work at Omaha? Omaha has three runways. There are two parallel runways oriented from northwest to southeast. The third runway is oriented from north to south. Aircraft take off and land into the wind, and runways are built to align with historic wind patterns specific to each airport. At Omaha, the prevailing winds often come from the south, so aircraft take off and land to the south, which is called south flow. However, winds can come from the north, which puts the airport into north flow. General runway identification is based on the compass heading the aircraft is facing as it lands or takes off. For example, runway 1836 is facing approximately 180 degrees in one direction and 360 degrees in the opposite direction. If you drop the zero at the end of the compass heading, you will get 18 and 36. Even though a runway is a single strip of concrete, it is essentially treated as two separate surfaces. Parallel runways are further designated with L for left or R for right at the end of the runway number, which explains runways 14 right, 32 left, and 14 left, 32 right. Controllers continuously manage, space, and separate arrivals and departures. Satellite-based procedures make that job safer and more efficient because the separation requirements can now be incorporated within the procedure, including speed and altitude and points along the route. These new arrival procedures are designed to be used by all runways. Why does Omaha need these procedures? Passengers flying to and from Omaha want to travel easily to other parts of the country. Satellite-based air traffic procedures will help Omaha better connect with other larger airports, including Chicago, Denver, Minneapolis and Kansas City, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Los Angeles, and New York. These proposed procedures eliminate the need for ground-based navigational aids which are becoming old and harder to maintain. Satellite-based procedures help pilots fly more direct routes instead of having to fly over ground-based aids. This can help benefit the environment by reducing fuel burn. 
The two VHF omnidirectional range navigational aids, known as VORs, have become out of date. Omaha is requesting two new satellite procedures to replace these ground-based navigational aids. The Sioux City VOR north of Omaha has already been retired. The Pawnee City VOR will retire in early 2023. Included in the new proposed satellite procedures will be Optimized Profile Descents, or OPDs, which will allow aircraft to glide to the ground, eliminating powering up motions. The OPD has built-in speed and altitude requirements, which are programmed into airplanes' flight computers and allow the aircraft to essentially glide down on idle power. It's like driving a car from a highway to an exit ramp and then a neighborhood street, but seamlessly and without stopping. Placing an aircraft on a continuous and predictable path provides separation from all other aircraft in the area. This kind of path is the safest and most efficient possible route. The new arrival procedures will take effect once aircraft have started descent from the cruise portion of the flight. They will provide stabilized descents, remove level offs, and allow for near idle approaches. Jet aircraft will follow the same general flight paths used today from the beginning of descent to approximately 4,000 to 5,000 feet in altitude. Creating and publishing these new flight procedures is a multi-step process. The FAA begins with a specific need, benefit, and purpose. A team of air traffic professionals, operators, airports, and other aviation stakeholders contribute to the design of a procedure. We hope this video gives you a basic understanding of how the air traffic control system works in the Omaha airspace and including how and why the FAA is modernizing air traffic procedures. For more information about this project, please visit the FAA's Community Involvement website at FAA.gov.